Adventurer? Adventurer? If I lived an extra year for every fool that wandered into the forest without a map and no clue what they would find in there, or even any thought towards how they would escape, well, I would be living a lot longer than the 900 years I have been training adventures. Keep my own counsel, I will. <laughs> Hi, uh, Amanda and Fu. <laughs> I got a lot. Of, I got 12 hours sleep. I'm all wound up. And, uh, Fu, I watch your video. The uh, oh, Hold on a second. You got a little... You mind if I... Cute as a button. Um, Fu, I watched your video, Red Rocks, and Amanda, your video, uh, regarding Red Rocks, and, uh, where Fu, you talk about both sides of the coin, and, uh, I must say, though, uh, I believe my coin, uh, has both sides <laughs> on, on one side, or my side actually penetrates to the other side, or maybe with a little bit of veneer, a little bit of gloss across. You, you got a little something here. Mind if I... I'm not going to lick my thumb there. Alright, there you go. You're good. Um, and because then I think that the coin and... Uh, here, maybe a little less wind. The coin and uh, Amanda, your, your father, um, whose, uh, whose path, whose journey, it's the trials and tribulations and um, I wanted to talk about both those things. Um, first of all, the epic journey. The, uh, I was listening to a, a man who had uh, arrived uh, for work, only to find out that he, arrived, he had arrived uh, a week early, which is nice. It's nice to be early. Um, and he had arrived to find out that all the things that he expected, uh, all the work equipment that he was uh, expecting to use, Actually, he needed to provide it. Um, and he didn't have that money. And also, he didn't have enough money that he felt that he'd actually be able to stay indoors for that entire week. And uh, as he kind of like just thought, was thinking out loud about, whoa, what am I going to do? He said to himself, the adventure continues. Which has to do with my uh, initial... Uh, uh, how I how I oddly started this video because um, I thought to myself adventure <laughs> adventure you are not you are a man who does not call ahead you are a man who does not plan you're a man you're a man with no with no bottom <laughs> um, but you know I but here part of me was like criticizing you know it's terrible uh, a terrible uh, part of my uh, my inner dialogue um, is to break things down uh, into a more, what I consider realistic. It's like you just didn't act. I mean, it is an accident um, and a mistake, but showing up uh, like missing a, a start date by a week—that's you missed pretty hard. <laughs> and the whole like sh showing up without uh, with with not knowing that you needed to provide your own work equipment. Uh, eh. I don't know, man, but you you got a job and you start showing up to work. Uh, <laughs> so part of me was like, adventure, you are not. Um, but a part of my mind was also uh, thinking that that might be how that guy um, frames his environment. So he doesn't think, oh, God, I'm just such a, you know, he doesn't say like, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm forgetful, or, or uh, uh, I, I can't plan correctly. Because, um, you know, they, th they say that adventures are terrible, nasty things full of uh, sleeping outdoors in the rain and cold meals and uh, uh, foot sores. <laughs> and uh, only after you make it back and are uh, in front of a warm fire do you look back on that considered an adventure. So he was... He was in the thick of things, thinking of it as an adventure right then and there. He knew that, that uh, probably there wasn't a good... Uh, it wouldn't be a good mental tool uh, to berate himself at the moment. So he used the mental tools thinking like, well this is an adventure and I'm going to uh, 
uh, to plan uh, as it is, as if it was, as if it were. To see, because uh, here's where the side of the coin comes in, because because I have that as a part of my personality. Um, you know, the, I think that's where my favorite things come from, and uh, you know, favorite things to favorite behaviors is uh, I give them a little bit more uh, sparkle and flash um, because I know it's a whole th where they say like you know the, the, the simple things, the simple joys uh, are the best because it's not always going to be if even if it ever is uh, fireworks, uh, tectonic movement, uh, volcanoes, uh, underwater sinkholes. <laughs> um, Sometimes it's just a, a nice rock uh, in a forest that's comfortable to sit on and gives you a good view. And so I go there and it's favorite rock. And uh, the forest is surrounded with is magical and there's caves and there's old abandoned cars that are in strange places. And there's uh, cliffs and overhangs and rock walls and uh, strange pits in the ground. Um, and... Uh, yeah, yeah, I go out there and have an adventure. Though, the the thing about like adventures is, sometimes you could build it up that uh, you could put things on a pedestal, and I, I hear about that, and I I understand the concept. I don't necessarily like it because I often get accused of putting somebody or something on a pedestal uh, when really I just I see all the wonderful aspects of what I'm regarding um, you know like you know favorite rock uh, I'm not putting favorite rock up on a pedestal uh, though I'm not gonna say anything bad about favorite rock and I'd step on anybody's toes who did um, but some people actually though can't if if favorite rock fell off the pedestal there are some people that can't deal with that because in their mind it actually did become an epic adventure and it was a magical rock. And once it falls off, they don't really have any kind of adventure dynamic in their head um, that can uh, accommodate that, explain it away. Like in Lord of the Rings where uh, the, river, the uh, smog was attacking uh, the rivermen and uh, I can't remember the name of the guy who shot the arrow. Uh, shot one arrow and downed the entire dragon. Well, yeah, that guy was an adventurer, but what if he'd missed? <laughs> you know? And then later he's living in a hut, you know, or maybe a couple of logs that fell on top of each other and blocked the rain a little bit. Um, maybe in that guy's mind he didn't have any room for that, any room for the miss. Uh, it was all about this special black arrow, his favorite arrow, that he'd always recovered. You know, I mean, that was a special thing. I'd always found that arrow again. It's like, oh, that's... Like if you hit what you're shooting at, and then you go find the dead duck and the arrow sticking in it, you're like, ooh, epic! Epic arrow recovery! I got that duck right in the knee. That duck will adventure no more. Uh, so where does that leave that adventure? You know, I guess it leaves them stranded in the woods, and then they, uh, uh, they consider themselves a failed adventure. And... Uh, Maybe they adventure no more. Or maybe they, they travel far away from uh, the lakemen so that there isn't any kind of rumor of, of their failure that time they missed hitting the dragon. Yeah, I think, though, that... Uh, well, I think it's, it's a great thing, you know, to, uh, to hold things up as special and to recognize things and, and people and events as special or uh, even to turn some of your problems into a uh, an adventure which might seem uh, that you're trying to turn real life into a fantasy except for uh, it is a reality and the fantasy part would be about that you say like well here I go again into the breach where I will conquer uh, devise contingency plans and fall back because I brought a map <laughs> you know, I may be wandering out in the forest to have an adventure, uh, but in a worst case scenario, uh, I'm just going to get my GPS out and walk back to the car. And I'll try again another time. It is in the cards uh, to fail, and I'm not going to let that prevent me from, uh, from living an epic life. 
uh, even if it's only epic because I say so. <laughs> Spe speaking of epic, I keep grabbing my hat. Uh, somebody just said to me, uh, somebody I didn't know just walked by me and said, nice hat, but I don't know if you've been around here very long, but it's not that's, that's not going to stay on for the winter. And I was like, whoa, man, that guy like, he like criticized my hat and suggested that I wasn't a local. <laughs> and I'm like, well, mister, we'll see. <laughs> All right, old fan, foo, see in the tubes. An adventure we shall have.